seen a Ross take a shot at you a couple uh, weeks ago about a girl that you're not even with no more. Uh, that's right. and then, what is it with you and Ross that's just Listen, been going on for so long? I spent to see, right? Nothing else works for him yeah. outside of mentioning me. Yeah. When things get bad, you mention me. It gets covered for you. You see TMZ is a 50 Cent said this is going to be bad for Irv Gotti's career. Yeah. I get covered across the board. Yeah. They get covered on the hip hop blogs. Okay. It is what it is. Yeah. And you watch because I have nothing else to say. You just see it happen periodically yeah. as it goes. Yeah. You know, yeah. you see that big white elephant, yeah. that property he lives at? It costs more than the nightclubs. He's in the nightclubs. Yeah. We know what they can give you. They can't pay you more than they can pay you because the room can't hold enough people for them to give you the money to, to stay there. He can stay until we a squatter, holding on to the leg of the chair that they move. Mm. But that's what it is. It's just a part of presentation. Yeah. Come on, bro. You can see this. You don't need me to say that you know this. Yeah. Look at it. What kind of rich nigga cut his own grass? Why you out there cutting your own grass? <laughs> you trying to save money, nigga? You don't want to pay for the lawn to get cut, huh? Let me ask you the this. The AC broken in the motherfucker. Let me ask you this. <laughs> Let me ask you this. It's Brush Davis on the check-in. And Gilly the Kid was definitely trying to start something with 50 Cent by bringing up Rick Ross and 50's ex. I mean, Gilly and Ross, they had an issue in the past. And shout out to 50, though, for not shitting on hip-hop publications. He said, you know, when he says something, it's covered internationally. And when Ross does, it's only on hip-hop blogs. Instead, you know, he said, it is what it is. Now, Rick Ross and 50 Cent, I believe their beef started back in 2009 when Rick Ross claimed that 50 Cent looked at him funny at the BET Awards and... That's when he decided to drop, uh, was it Mafia music? And I want to say it had a lot to do with Ross's affiliation with Fat Joe, you know, being Terror Squad and DJ Khaled being Ross's right hand man. So I want to say that that had a lot to do with it. But for it to still be going on 15 years later, it's kind of crazy. But, you know, you got to salute both of them because Ross did definitely survive 50. And we all know what 50 can do when he got a problem with somebody. But anyway, let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. And of course, if you like the video, you can like and subscribe.